Hello everybody, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the Superstitions book tag. So I was tagged by, oh sorry, I got it wrong, it's the Am I Superstitious book tag. Uh, this was originally created by Big Hard Books and Classics by Al, and he also tagged me in it. Um, there is a superstition, a walking superstition, just taking a shit in my bathroom at the moment. You'll maybe see, he's going to come barreling through in the, with the zoomies in a second, but he may make a cameo. Dane reads... Uh, there are 11 questions, and we're going to go through. Um, I mean, I'm not sure, am I supposed to talk about books that go with these as well? I can't actually remember. Uh, I guess I'll give it a go. <laughs> so there are 11 questions, and uh, they're all based on superstition. So number one, fear of thunder. Um, I am not afraid of thunder particularly, although I do get a bit, I don't like it that much, do I, Biggie? No, I'll pick you up. This little man is going to come into play later, aren't you? Because you're a superstition. Are you scared of thunder, Biggie? He says no, he's not scared. What? Okay. Sorry about that, cat. I'll leave you down there. He might attack my leg now. We'll see. Uh, and so for a book with that in, we're going to go with uh, The Hunger Games number two, which is Catching Fire, I believe, because there's a bit where a thunderbolt hits a tree. Number two, Walk Under Ladders. Um, again, I mean, I avoid walking under ladders, but it's because I don't want a paint bucket to fall on my head or something. I'm not superstitious about it, I'm just practical about it, I guess. Uh, I mean, occasionally, like at the art centre, I have no choice but to walk under ladders. A book to do with ladders? <sighs> now, now we're pushing it here. I don't think I have one, so we're going to go on to number three. No hats on the bed. Uh, I've never heard of that one. Um, I've fallen asleep in my bed in my hat before. So there's that, um, and for a book, we're going to go with whatever the uh, James Bond Ian Fleming novel is with Oddball, with that bowler hat where he, he chucks it. Number four, never light three on the same match. That one's really interesting because that one's from the war, so the idea was is you'd be lighting cigarettes and if you lit one, uh, the enemy would see it. You light another one, they aim, and then you light another one, they fire. Um, although that's three matches in a row rather than never light three on the same match. So I don't know where that comes from, actually. That kind of weirds me out, because I thought it was never, you, what you do is you light the match, and if you try twice and you still haven't managed to light your cigarette, you're supposed to move before you light again, because otherwise you could get shot. So I've not heard of one for being like, lighting three cigarettes with the same match. Um, we all use lighters these days anyway. Um, a book with matches in. Um, the Little Match Girl, Han Hans Christian Andersen. That's not a book, it's a folk tale thing, but hey ho. Number six, number five, black cats crossing your path. Well, I always think that's good luck, because, I mean, if Biggie crosses my path, I give him a little stroke. Don't I, Biggie? Yes, yes I do. You sure do. And uh, for a book with a, a black cat in it, we'll go for, um, like, Infinity Welcomes Careful Drivers by Grant Naylor. Uh, so this is a Red Dwarf novel based on the Red Dwarf TV show. Because in that, there is a character played by Danny John Jules, who is descended from a black cat called Frankenstein. In the same way that humans evolved from apes, uh, the cat, as he is known, evolved from Felis, Felis, whatever it is, Felis Domesticus, and became Felis Sapiens. Question number seven. We seem to be missing, missing question number six, six here. This is a bloody car crash, mate, this. Do you own a rabbit's foot or Lucky Charm? Well, it wouldn't be very vegan, so no. Um, definitely not a rabbit's foot. Um, do I own a Lucky Charm? No, not really. Um, I mean, I, again, I don't really believe in luck. I believe in randomization, so. Yeah, I mean, some people have Lucky T-shirts and stuff. I have favorite T-shirts, but not a Lucky one. Uh, and something involving a, a lucky charm, can I think of any? No. The main thing that's going through my head at the moment is I've been watching somebody play Heroes of Might and Magic 6 uh, and you get uh, uh, horseshoes in that which you can use to increase your character's luck trait. Question number eight, no knives over the stove. Again, another one I wasn't aware of. I, leave my, I use my stove, or my, my oven, as we would call it, over here. Um, I don't have much space in my kitchen, so I quite often have to put a chopping board on top of the stove to chop with, so I fail that one. <laughs> uh, and we'll go for The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman. Right, question number nine. Find a penny, pick it up, all the day you'll have good luck. Uh, my favorite version of this saying is, find a penny, pick it up, and all day you'll have a penny. Um, I used to pick pennies up, actually, from when I was walking home from school because you'd get all like the reprobate kids, all the bad kids, 
they'd like throw their change at other people basically and you just end up with pennies all over the floor from where these kids have been throwing them at each other and I'd pick them all up and use them to buy sweets because I never had lunch money or anything like that so I'd buy like 27 one piece sweets um, I don't believe it's particularly lucky books about pennies or coins uh, any witcher book because of toss a coin to the witcher number 10 loose shoelaces <laughs> so I'm always being told by people, your shoelaces are untied, your shoelaces are untied, and I'm like, oh, yeah. And they'll just carry on walking. They're like, you're not gonna tie them. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna trip over them. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, and I haven't got a book for that either, I'm afraid. And number 11, do you have any particular superstitions? As you may have noticed, no. Um, I'm very skeptical. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in fate. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in afterlife. So, no, I'm not really superstitious, so I'm not really the right person to be doing this tag, I don't think. There are, there are other superstitions I've heard of, I guess, that aren't in this tag, but off the top of my head, I can't think of any. Um, Friday the 13th, that's one, isn't it? Um, I went on a first date on the 13th recently. And that, that was, I didn't get lucky. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyway, on that delightful note, we're gonna tag some people. I'm gonna tag Charlie Heathcote. I'm gonna tag, I'm gonna tag Mindy's book journey. I am gonna tag Cats and Camera. Uh, Todd the Librarian, if he decides to come back, we'll tag Graham from the archive as well. And also Graham, Graham Stillers reads books. I have just screwed this tag up. I'm sorry, Al, I tried my best. It's been a while since I watched the tag video. I'm only catching up on my filming now, so I don't even know if I've done it right. But you did at least get to see my cat and to learn that I am not superstitious in any way, shape or form. So there we have it, that's what I made of the superstition, the am I superstitious tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Feel free to hit the dislike if you want, because it was terrible. I'm aware it was terrible, but it's content, innit? Uh, let me know in the comments if you're superstitious and any superstitions that weren't covered by this that you subscribe to, I guess. Uh, hit that like button for more. I'm superstitious about the cunts going up and down the hill on their bloody fast cars. But that's not superstition. It's like, it's not paranoia if people are actually out to get you. And it's not superstitious to be worried that one of those bloody cars is going to come in through my window. So, because uh, they might. <laughs> hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.